What is up, YouTube? It's Baker. Welcome back to Blue Wine Morphs, guys. Okay, so Dave's here. We're going to see Dave again. You're going to see him again on Saturday. So we're actually filming two videos today. This video I decided is going to go for Wednesday. We just got done cutting the video, which will be for Saturday for you guys, of that trying to prove out if that boy's had pied or not. Watch the video. Determine for yourself what you guys think. But regardless, today's another pretty big day. This clutch is on day 58, but if you look, I would say they're good to go, Dave. They're... Yeah. I agree. Yeah. This clutch is my redemption clutch, guys. So we actually have another clutch ready to pip two. If you guys remember, when I pulled the two clutches uh, about two, probably two months ago, I had actually used this container, put an extra egg in here, and I actually wrote champ on it. That egg actually pipped, and then I threw it back in with the rest of its brothers and sisters in here, because they don't look like they're really ready to go yet, right? Which is interesting. They're on different levels of tubs, and I guess there's only six eggs in here opposed to ten. Got something to do with it. Regardless, we're going to hold off. Dave and I both kind of looked at the eggs. We're going to hold on a couple days to cut that clutch, but this one's definitely ready. This one's actually pretty important to me, guys. When I pulled this clutch, we had spoke about it. This journey started for me back in 2019, not that long ago, um, and I killed my first clutch. If you guys remember, I bred my Luna girl. Hi, right, Mama. I bred this girl right here to, this is my Super Russo Belle. I bred her to my Banana Pie Boy, and I smoke. Bells are always dirty. They're always disgusting. Um... I bred her to my banana pie male, and I smoked the first clutch. Smoked it. I gave her a full year off of breeding and decided to breed her again this year to my Coral Glow Black Pastel Trick Mojave male, which you guys have probably seen 795 times. Here he is right here. Just a really cool looking, powerful animal. No recessive. Just, I, I just love it. I love the Coral Glow Black Pastel Trick together. Throwing Mojave, throwing Trick in this pattern gets insane. So, I threw them together. Maybe hit some bells. Maybe nice, make some nice snakes. But, more importantly, it's kind of a redemption clutch for me, okay? It's kind of, ow, fuck. It's kind of full circle. Um, so we're going to cut the clutch today. She did give me eight, seven eggs, two slugged out, and five really good eggs. So we kind of owe it to Miss Luna here after putting her through all the bullshit two years ago only to essentially put her eggs in an inferno and cook them at 130 degrees because you guys remember that thermostat went bad, blah, blah, blah. But long story short... This clutch means a lot to me because it's kind of a full circle thing, right? It went from essentially fucking up my first clutch ever and kind of figuring things out and now kind of making it up to her. That makes sense? Yes? No? Dave? Yeah, okay. I agree. All right. We'll see. Let's see what we get. So comment down below right now. How many bells do you think we're going to get? Dave, what do you think? I'm thinking three. Three out of five? Yeah, I'm thinking three out of five. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. So I'm not, I'm not going to argue with you. We'll see what happens. But so this pairing essentially is a Super Russo to a Coral Glow Black Pastel Trick Mojave male. So obviously we have some nice bell complexes. Everything will be Russo um, with Mojave in the, in the mix there. What are the odds of that? 66%, right? Of yeah. what? That will Russo. be bells. Yeah. So you literally went with the odds. Yeah. Okay. Eh, fair. Fair man. All right. Let's do it, guys. Comment down below. What do you guys think? Let's do a better job maybe cutting this time. Remember how bad last clutch was? <laughs> Just don't cut a vein. Dude, I cut one vein. You'll see you guys will see on Saturday. I cut one vein, man. It looked like I killed somebody. It's not a bell. Black pastel Mojave Russo. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe be. trick too. Could be. Right? It's definitely got a lot going on. Yeah. It's definitely Russo, obviously, right? Because it's super Russo. Um looks a little wacky, so. Maybe trick? Yeah, it could have trick in it. Yeah, we'll see. Solid little baby. Cool little egg. Not bad. Imagine I get no bell. Is that good or bad? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> see, the issue is, too, like a clutch like this, it, whatever is a bell may have a lot of shit hidden, too. So, I cre I, I've actually only had one bell. This is the bell. 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 Bell possible X, Y, and Z. Let's cut it open check it out. One for two on the bells, guys. Cool little girl, right? Well, boy, hopefully, something. We'll see. We don't know. This is this should be a girl right here, right? Because of the, the male is a male maker. So, solid little female. We'll see. One for two. All right, Dave. Let's see if we prove out. Which one do you want to pull next? I'll go with this one. All right. These are ready to go, man. These things are like, like the snakes, like, I don't got much to cut here. I'm surprised they didn't pip. Right? And these are actually day 58, opposed to the clutch we just cut, that's just day 60. Again, Todd. Thanks for the scissors, my man. The doll. 
and the curves. No bell. What the fuck? That looks like just a black pastel Mojave. Hmm. Interesting. This looks like it's got one more gene than this. Yeah, this one has a more whacked out pattern. Maybe that's got tricked. This doesn't. Yeah, and this one's a little bit darker. So this might be Black Pastel Mojave Russo. That's it. This might be Black Pastel Mojave Russo trick. Maybe. Yeah. Give or take. I would say. They're females. Good. That's all we know. Right? Damn, bro. All right. These better, both these better be fucking bells. We'll see what happens here. I was kind of anticipating getting a lot of bells out of this clutch. So we'll see. Yes or no? Bell? Bell. I mean, going with the odds. It's a bell. <laughs> All right, so we're fifty percent right now, which means going by the odds, that next that next egg should be a bell, right? Show you guys, Whoop. little bell girl. I am dripping ooze everywhere. I'm making a mess today, bro. This is terrible. I'm making a mess, dude. My hands are shaking. I'm nervous. I'm excited. I got egg yolk everywhere. I got blood everywhere. A lot of emotion. I think I'm working in Brooklyn again. All right, so <laughs> going with the odds. This should be a bell, yeah? It will be a bell. You think it's going to be a bell? It's going to be a bell. It's going to be a bell. Drum roll, let's see what happens. Again, if this is the bell, we hit the odds, right, where they should be. You know what's... There's been no coral glow comp. Well, we don't know because the two of them are bells, but there's been no coral glows. That's true. Interesting. Well, It's we... usually a pretty dominant gene in terms yeah. of... Usually oh. when you put it in a pairing, I feel like you tend to get more. Out of than ten, you get the, seven. Yeah. Yeah. It's even, like spider. Even more yeah. than what the odds usually say. All right. Let's see. Let's see if this is a, a bell or not. At least that's been my luck with it. I'm gonna cut a straight line. Every time I cut the big lines, like south, it's a bell. So we hit the odds. Called it. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is an interesting clutch, isn't it? So. All right. So everything's Russo, right? Three of them are bells, which are the odds, 66%, right? So if you have a super Russo, that means they're all going to be Russo, and then you have 50% shot chance from the pops getting it, so knocks the odds down from 100% to 66%. Um, interesting. So here's the question now. When these come out, right, these three bells, right, when these three bells come out, oh, veiny. So if... I think I decided I'm going to cut the straight line from now on, right? Because every time I cut this like loop like Sal does. What do you like it when it's pinched and you're going down you, the middle? It's just a lot easier. Yeah. Because every time I cut like on this like the, the half curve. The moon thing, you lose half the fluid. <laughs> you cut a vein. Uh, yeah, it's a shit show. Well, this one, look at this one. This one's nice and like, uh, that's what I want to see. You know what I mean? I can open up. I can look real quick. They're going to come out either way. I don't like what I did here. So we're learning our lesson still, guys. We're learning our lesson still. Not a good day cutting. A good day odds-wise in this clutch. You guys will find out about Saturday's clutch. Sometimes things are what they are. Um, but this is the interesting thing now, Dave. Because if you follow, obviously, the, the sex trait with the coral glows and the bananas, these two should be females, yeah? Obviously, correct? Yes. So now if I pop these when they come out, these bells, and they are males... Safe to assume their coral glows. There's a higher chance that they right. are. Right, right, right. There's a higher chance there are. Um, so we're going to have to take a nice bright light and do the whole red eye pupil test. That would be a good video. We'll see what happens. Okay, so we hit the odds. <laughs> 66%. Not exciting clutch. Um, zero coral glows actually in here because everything's either bell or some sort of female, but I'm pretty happy with that. I'm, I'm cool with that. Either way, guys, listen, I appreciate you watching. We still got another. Clutch to cut. I think we're going to give that one a couple days, right? Yeah, I think give it a couple days. Yeah, just a, I'll show you guys real quick just so you guys can see it. These were literally um, pulled on the same exact day. Um, this clutch right here is the same f male, different females. This is the pastel pinstripe champagne female. Um, this one clutch, this one egg right here. Yeah, we'll do a little bonus cutting. Let's cut this one. This one picked. This one I wrote champ on. I actually put it right here because uh, I ran out of room over here. So we're going to cut this one real quick. Why not, right? Yeah, this one did pip, so. We're going to cut it, and we're going to put it back with this. Let me put these away. But as you guys can see, I want to give these a couple more days. I think Dave, Dave and I both agreed. Uh, not quite as sunken as I, I, I would like to see. So we're going to put them away for a little bit. I did take the press and seal off just to kind of 
give them a little bit of air, but put them away. We'll be cutting that clutch later this week. We'll show you off. But I figured that clutch right there, that egg right there, was in with this Luna clutch um, because I ran out of space. So it hips. So we might as well cut it, right? Yeah. Why not? Hey, bonus, bonus footage, guys. Bonus footage. So I'm just going to cut right down the line here. Ooh. Scared me. Champ. He's a champion. What the fuck? <laughs> All light snakes has been your luck today. All right. Well, is that champagne? Champagne and coral glow, maybe? You usually still get some yellow in it, though, right? Uh, the problem is now I can't put this egg back in there because if they all get together... <laughs> you suck, you little bastard, you. That's a big fucking snake, dude. Okay, comment down below, guys. Listen, I, I got... I don't know. I, I uh... Things hatching out as an adult. <laughs> yeah, breed guys. This will be listed on Morph Market shortly. Uh, it's breed ready, proven breeder. Um, It'll be two meals in. Yeah, proven breeder. I don't know, dude. What do you think? Coral Glow Black Pastel Trick Mojave Male to a Champagne Pinstripe Pastel. Unless it's all the genes and just washed everything out. But now I can't put him back in this with this clutch because it is a possibility, low possibility, but it's still there. It could be. A, it could be a. Oh, on the morph market. It could be maybe pastel. Guys, comment down below. I don't know. This is one of those clutches I shouldn't have done because there's too many genes involved. Kind of like last year, but I'm, I'm retarded and I do stupid shit. Uh, it could be a pastel champagne coral glow. It's just washing itself out completely. It could. The good thing is after the first couple of sheds, you'll see color start to peek through then. Right. If it is washed right. out like that. Because it'll start to get that kind of yellow tinge. I could probably put that in there because it's so big. Do I, see, I think I see a little color there, or am I crazy? You're crazy. Can I get that? It's not much. I don't know, dude. I have no idea. All right, it is what it is. I don't know where I'm going to put this egg, because I'm going to put it in there and be like, I don't know, it's a bell. <laughs> oh, that's not a bell. We'll see what happens. I'm probably going to put it back with its brothers and sisters over there. I can't put it with the other clutch. Anyway, all right, guys, listen. Enough of the shenanigans. Uh, solid day over here at Blue Line Morphs. Definitely stay tuned for that Saturday's video. I'm going to film a Patreon video now, which will be up way before the Saturday's video about that clutch to see if approved out hep hide or not. So definitely, if you're interested, check out the Patreon channel. Shameless plug. Don't care. Uh, it's growing nicely, actually. I've got 20 members already. The group text is constantly going. Pretty excited about that. Doesn't have blue eyes. Black eyes. Like a doll's eyes. Um... Listen, guys, I appreciate you watching, man. Two decent videos this week. Pretty happy about it. Uh, we'll cut that clutch later on. That'll be next week's video, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, we're going to film a nice Patreon-only video now. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, Redemption Clutch is in the books. Made it up to Luna. Hopefully one of these bells is a female. I'll hold it back just to... Because I'm sentimental and weird like that. It kind of is what it is. That's why I got Eve over here holding it down. Either way, guys, listen, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate Dave on the camera. Definitely check out Ed, Edge Exotics on social media, Instagram. I'm sure you guys know exactly. If you watch my channel, you know he, who he is. Fat and out of breath. And he just started a YouTube channel. Uh, much better at editing. Much more professional looking than this shit show. So definitely check out his, his, his social media and his YouTube. Dave, I appreciate it, brother. Um, yeah, guys, be safe. Watch your six.